can exist as fix your memory issues. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, a board cardiologist. What if I told you that there were something that you could do right now that will have immediate benefit in your brain, improve your memory, improve your attention span, your reaction time? What if I told you the same thing would last a long time and minimize your risk of developing anxiety, depression, Alzheimer's, and neurodegenerative diseases? Would you do it? I am doing it. You should do it too. Today, we're going to look at the magic pill and your brain health. You're going to ask these questions. Does exercise improve your brain health and memory? What type of exercise? What's the best time of the day to exercise? And how much? And how long do you need to do it to get these benefits? And I'll have a bonus a tip at the end of the video. Stick around, you'll be surprised. Does exercise improve your memory and brain health. Physical activity has been associated with increased risk of memory loss over time, and the brains of people who exercise actually shrink less compared to people who are sedentary. Exercise has been associated with 50% less risk of developing dementia over a lifetime. One particular study, adults with a high fitness level had 88% decreased risk of uh, Alzheimer's, and if they developed it, they would delay about 11 years. What type of exercise? So a group of exercise physiologists in Australia look at this very carefully, and they compiled all the randomized clinical trials they could find. They looked at aerobic exercise, strengthening exercise, resistance. They looked at Tai Chi and yoga. And it was pretty clear that cardio and strength training improve brain function. Tai Chi actually improved memory. There was not enough data regarding the yoga. My suspicion is also beneficial. What's the best time of the day? to exercise anytime. However, one single workout, you'll have release of neurotransmitters in your brain, of dopamine, norepinephrine, uh, serotonin. They will immediately improve your mood, attention, motivation, and it would last for two hours. And because most of us will need your brain when you go to work or you go to school during the day. If you want to be in top shape, I would recommend doing whenever possible first thing in the morning. How much exercise do I need for brain health and what intensity? Many of you will be asking at this point, just <laughs> cut to the chest and tell one thing. What's the minimum amount that I need to do to get these benefits? And reality is the same thing as for our overall health, not specifically for the brain. The American Heart Association and Physical Activity Guidelines for Americans uh, recommend 150 minutes of uh, aerobic exercise a week or 75 minutes of high intensity exercise. And you have to add two sessions of strengthening exercise as well, using weights, exercise bands, or using even your own uh, body. And the 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, you could slice it the way you want and you'll have the benefit. It doesn't have to be that particular way. The good news is uh, just adding extra walk around the block, uh, walking with your dog, going to the grocery store, will already have some benefit. The reality is every time you get your heart pumping, your muscles moving and your sweat glands working, you're gonna have a significant health benefit. If you wanna learn more about this topic, please watch this video exercise, what type, how much. I'll put a link on the top and on the description below. What else besides exercise improve brain health? You do not have to be anything specific. And what is good for your heart is good for your brain. And decreasing your cardiovascular risk factors, not smoking, decreasing your blood pressure, bringing down your cholesterol, uh, your blood sugar, controlling your diabetes will also not only be beneficial for your heart, but also for your brain because it will minimize the risk of developing vascular dementia. Here's the tip that I promised at the beginning. Does exercise save you money? In reality, your health is wealth. And there was a study that actually looked at adults who exercise, they spend $2,500 dollars a year less just in heart related issues and obviously if you develop dementia you end up needing 24 7 hour uh, care and you end up in a memory unit it will cost you thousands and thousands of dollars a year so exercise not only is good for your health 
It's also good for your bank account. And in conclusion, 20% of adults over 65 will develop mild cognitive dysfunction. And 50% of those will end up having Alzheimer's over the next five years. The good news is exercise cut down that risk by 50%. Exercise is really the most transformative thing you could do for protect your brain against the age-related decline and these neurodegenerative diseases and Alzheimer's and uh, other types of dementia and Parkinson's. And remember, you have as small push as a set, take control. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next video. Oh, I forgot something. Love your brain.